everyone, welcome back. It's Christine again with the Artist Pod, and today we'll be sketching a polar bear. As always, I'm using a Wacom Impro Intos Pro tablet, and I'm drawing straight into Photoshop. So, let's get arting. All right, um, so here's the blank canvas before we get started. So we're gonna start a new layer, which is right down here. Hit this button there. Um, we're gonna fill it with black. Um, and then we're gonna start a new layer and change our brush color to purple. It's always what I draw on so that I don't get myself mixed up um, with the fur color or the animal color, the feather color, whatever it is. In this case, it's a polar bear, so the fur will be white. Um, and then I select the brush, uh, brush tool. It's a hard round brush. You can see it's selected over here. Brush tool set to a size of 15. And then we'll get started. So a polar bear is a predator, much like the cat was. So the eyes can be a little bit more closer together. Um, as always, we're gonna start with a circle. Or an oval, really kind of depends. Not, not that much of an oval. And then um, at the top, drawing in the um, eyelid, but continuing the, the oval on so that it doesn't look like it's a separate entity. And then a little bit of distance away, but not too much because it's a predator, so their eyes won't be right on the side. Draw another circle that's roughly the same height and shape as the first one with another eyelid that's extending much like the other one is. Right, okay. So then polar bears have, you know, um, their snouts come forward. So we'll have, you know, his snout kind of coming forward. And then they have noses that um, are kind of like dogs, right? So they have um, this kind of look to it. And then it, it kind of comes down, right? And there's that, that little bit. Um, so that it creates almost a circular shape when you're done. Nose would be black. Um, and then, you know, you have the mouth coming down. Because um, it's a bear, it'll probably be a little bit more squared off at the edge of where that comes up. Um, and then we're going to give him chin. Uh, now we're going to come over and have a nice wide cheek for a bear. They tend to have pretty strong, prominent <laughs> cheeks. At least that's what I would think of. Right. Um, and then we'll have the head coming up. With ears. Tiny little ears. I don't have to be anything big. Polar bear's ears are really small in relation to the rest of their head. Right, so then we have just that little bit where it would come up and do the same thing over here. And then we'll have, you know, some eyebrows. We can make some changes as needed, adding in some details. I mean, that's the standard of it. Uh, making sure that both sides, right, like this cheek on one side's a little bit more sharp than on the other. Trying to make both of them match. And then we can have this be more prominent. Polar bear, after all. Probably would be a bit more prominent. <clears throat> you could do, you know, depending on what you're doing, I had it come down, but you could even like change it and have it come up, coming up. You know, you don't have to though. Um, I think this would be fine. Their noses are pretty small. I've made his a bit bigger. looks like a Care Bear, but I guess, <laughs> you know, there's only certain, so many ways to draw an animal, so I guess they're all going to kind of look 
similar. So at this point, it's just, right, it's minute changes, right? Just making sure things are looking good. Because I am gonna, this won't be showing up in the final drawing, so there's no point in having that up there. But some of this will be, it's just a matter of figuring out how far that would come up. Because it would be a height difference, right? Um, maybe having that just like a hint will help me figure out what how to do that. I might bring the eyes a little closer together. Oops. And I'm just taking the um, select tool up here, the lasso tool, and then I can pull the eyes in a bit more. I don't like it, I can undo it. I just want to make sure they match on both sides. And if we do that, then this would definitely not be like that. The moment it looks happy, but in reality, when we add some of the other things in, it might not anymore. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? A bear is a bear is a bear. Um, they're all going to kind of have the same look. Um, it's just they have small ears, so, you know, don't overdo their ears, especially because their faces are going to seem so bulky. Um, and poof it out their cheeks. So, yeah. All right, so that's how you sketch a polar bear. I hope that's helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.